I feel like this is a Chase Rock because we're not going to edit this. Hello, it is Chase. And his disgusting friend Aaron spitting <laughs> cherry pits for you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hello, it is Wednesdays with Chasey Poo and A.A. Ron. We are in Florida because Aaron is having surgery tomorrow. Because today's Wednesday with Chasey Poo. Mm. Ah, yes. Wednesday. Wednesday. Anyways, this... Yeah, yeah. So, the the internet here is less than one speed. One M, whatever. I don't know what that means, but I can't upload anything, so we're going to try to do it at McDicks. Yeah. Okay, so this week's topic is youth, um, safe spaces for youth slash LGBTQ youth, (laughs) um, and sober spaces. Safe space, sober space. So, if you want to, like start with that not that we'll talk sober later let's talk about like maybe how trans kids lack of space yeah okay well what i want to start by saying is that usually um safe spaces are shared spaces among the lgbt community and there's a lot more lgb and it's like a a silent t at the end so i find as a trans person in like when i was younger it's like there wasn't really a lot of that like you would go to a safe space and it would be mostly like you know gay pride and like all this stuff like nobody really knew anything about like trans people or like i don't know it was like it was implied that trans people are welcome there but it wasn't actually like you know active like if you weren't out and you were trans it's not like people would talk about it and you'd be able to like extend an ear you go, <laughs> hello. hello and like get the information you need or you know it's just it didn't feel like a trans safe space and then that's like should there be trans only safe spaces for the lgbt community because what about like out when i was a when I was a little BB, I didn't know. I think so. I think that it's important to have LGB, LGBT spaces. So, but more like a like community organization of like, hey, how can we better improve this community and make sure everyone's included? Yeah, and exactly. stuff like that. Um, but I also think that having trans only spaces is so important. The trans, the Philly Trans Health Conference is not only a, a trans only space, safe space. It's okay. not. It's cis people are allowed to go. But, to me, it's a very safe space. If a cis person walks in there, if you don't agree with the views and anything that's happening here, literally, you are so yeah. overpowered, it doesn't even matter for at once, that point. you are the minority. Yeah. Please leave. So, for me, it's so important to have that space to, like... I mean, like, I feel like that's how I met most of my friends is through online trans-only spaces because a lot of people don't have access to, like, in-person safe spaces, especially yeah. if they're not out or yeah. if they're stealth. So, having online safe spaces and being able to talk to people has really helped. And honestly, the conference is like where, where, where like reality, online reality, like online life comes a reality in well, person. What I like about the conference is that it feels almost like it's a trans exclusive place, but it yeah. isn't. And that opens it up for a lot of uh, stealth trans guys. Like I know you have some friends that are stealth. Yeah. They could go to this event and still feel like, you know, this like, it feels kind of like closed off to the community, but like nobody's going to know necessarily that you're trans if you're going to You don't to have that. a card, you know? Yeah, you don't have to. They don't have to be like, okay, flash us a little some, some, like, you know. <laughs> Show us <Exactly>. the nip. <laughs> um, yeah, no, no, but... Because uh. that's the thing. When you make a space exclusive to that group, then it's like you have to be an out member of that group. Otherwise, if you're, you know, if you're stealth, then you're... Outing yourself, you yeah. I'm saying you have to be like, you know, you have to tell someone. So that's, that's, that's like when people say, you know... Uh, straight people shouldn't be allowed at gay pride, and it's like, okay, first of all, gay pride is not just for gay the gay. pride. It's not listen, just for the gay. Listen. You know and why gay pride exists, right? You know why? It was because of that nice white boy in that movie. Oh my God, he threw a brick. He's a homosexual. Um, homo- you know? Oh my God, the oh. homosexuals. <laughs> That's disgusting. We're joking. <laughs> That's nasty. That video bombed. That, that video, Google that why Stonewall is bad, and you'll get. I don't know. No, no, it's not time. bad. It, no, 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 the movie. The, the, mo- movie. Like, not the movie. No, no, not the actual historical event. That's not at all represented in this movie. We're talking about the movie. That's just like a work of fiction. And hashtag it like so whitewashed. It's oh, ridiculous. Oh my god, the trans people don't exist, especially trans women of color. What are those? <laughs> <laughs> what are those? What are those? <laughs> I mean, like, I think that they have like maybe like two people on set. But, okay, they, they had that like picture of all the cast, and literally you're. Like, okay, everyone, yep, everyone here is white. Like, literally, there's like a hundred. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> anyway, so maybe now let's switch over to sober spaces because I think that that's something that we kind of. It applies to both of us. So, what do yeah. you mean by sober spaces? Like, sober only spaces? Yeah. 
more sober inclusive spaces maybe for me that that's what i i would like i don't want sober only spaces um sometimes i feel like i it would be nice but i feel like a lot of people would not go to these places because they don't want to deal with people who are not drinking and they just want to drink or do drugs um which whatever you do whatever you want with your life i don't care but i would like to be in a space where like it's it's inclusive yeah. So there's not like a corner where sober people are hanging out with a no, fucking like bottle like, of water, but like it's okay to not have a drink in your hand. Yeah, like they could have non-alcoholic beverages, and the whole event will not revolve around just drinking. Because which that's... is usually like you look at Pride, look at the sponsors, the biggest sponsors. Who is it? Smeared off. It's yeah. absolute vodka. Like they like it. The, it's these huge companies that make it seem like you can't have fun as a gay person or as an LGBTQ person. Yeah if you don't drink yeah and it's sad and i don't care you can drink absolutely do whatever the fuck you want i don't care but to have every single event like every single party you go on halloween at the club and i feel like people are gonna be like yeah but you're going to a club that's what you expect no but that's what you expect that's how society has brought you up that clubs are only for drinking it's not you can go to a club and have fun i could go and just dance who cares whatever and just a, a, a space where it's okay to drink. I feel like I would be less triggered. I'm not very triggered by people drinking around me. Okay. Um, unless it's a lot of people that I don't know and they're really drunk. Okay. Like, drunk. White girl wasted, you know? Yeah. Um, but if I was at a bar or a club where it was okay to be sober, like, yeah, it's okay. But people always judge you. Like, why don't you drink? <laughs> I'm going to get you drunk one day. No, you're really not. I'm sober for a reason. <laughs> Leave me alone. But yeah, so that's my take. Yeah. I find especially things like that seem harmless, like, um, I see. Oh, I have my own water. Oh, okay. Oh, you could have drank my water. It's okay. Anyway. Uh, my lips would have touched. We already have. We have him. I said yeah. witch lips. Yeah, I'm playing it. Oh, we, we, oh my God. <laughs> I just registered what you said. Anyway. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to, I, to the person who might be using this video for their project. Can you imagine? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, okay, anyways, keep going about you, and then we're, we're done with this. Uh, well, I was just going to say things like the holidays, like you're with your family, you would think it's not, but it's all about drinking. It's just like, if you're not drunk, you're not mm, you're celebrating, and it's like, the fuck am I this? Like, that's when it's the hardest time not to drink, because people come over and they bring alcohol, like, I brought you a bottle of wine and got you wine for Christmas, and it's like, I don't, don't, don't want to drink. Stop. <laughs> Stop. So, Why yeah. don't you drink if it's not too personal? Maybe, maybe yeah. we can tell the people a little, cause they'll be, because they'll ask us, we might, we might as well. Also, this video is yeah. getting long, so we should cut it. Two reasons. Very short. One, I don't enjoy anything that alters my state because it could potentially very likely trigger a panic attack. Which Same. Is very, That's one of my reasons as yeah, well. Which is very physical for me. It's it's like I, I feel... It's very like, painful. Yeah. Like, like my skin is on fire, rip it off of me. Or I can't feel my skin at all and I'm touching it and I see it happening, but I don't feel it. Yeah. Because my body is like, you're dying, so we're going to send all your blood to your organs so you feel like you're fainting, but you're alive because of the adrenaline. Anyway, um... That's such yeah. a good description. Oh my god! That's literally what's physically happening <laughs> yeah. to you. Um, and the other reason is uh, just because I could potentially abuse of alcohol as like if I don't get that first reaction, then I can be like, oh, I didn't react badly. Let me have another drink, that's, and then that's it's just what happened to me. Yeah, yeah, same. Just, and I was like, oh, we're drinking. I can drink. It's fun. And then I was like, I'm drinking too much. This is not fun. Yeah, yeah. So I me, mean, it's like th- those two reasons, 100 percent, were the same. There and then go. the third reason <laughs> is health reasons. Um, oh, which yeah. I guess the like addiction would be a health reason, but just because there's a lot of like heart disease in yeah, my family, and sense. not I'm saying there's I'm not saying that like if you you're gonna, you're gonna get heart disease, no, but no. I try to follow like like healthy lifestyle. As I just fucking gulped down a huge thing of ice cream. It was vegan. It's all right. It's so good. <laughs> we won't tell you which brand unless they sponsor us. I'm kidding. One eight hundred. You're so brave. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but the, yeah. So for me, yeah, that's it. I think that that's. Um, very much, yeah. Yeah. That's why we don't drink. Yeah, I mean, whatever. I don't we still have but, fun. But I don't judge anyone who drinks unless no. you're literally putting alcohol in my face and you know I don't drink. I will, oh my god, I will slice your face off. And yeah, if you're trying to make it sound like we're being like a wet napkin. Oh my drinking, god. It's like, no, you're just being really like disrespectful a, like, sober right now. Sally? Like, yeah, 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 I'm a sober Sally. I'm not boring, though. Fuck, I have, people literally think I'm more drunk than my friends when I go out with them. Like, are you drunk? I'm like, I literally am on water. I like feed off of people's vibes. I have too much water. We're going to have to cut you off, Chase. <laughs> too wet anyways hopefully this video was good i'm so sorry that it was so long and unedited it was chase and aaron raw hella raw oh my god chase and aaron raw ah uh, <laughs> no, uh, yes let's pat a track on that no let's go tracking <laughs> yes think of b have a swell see you next week hashtag safe space project yeah okay S- safe space project think of b